Hey everyone, today I am going to tell you about an awesome series that I just finished reading. So I took a break from reading graphic novels for a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, just to read something new, kind of refresh myself a little bit. And that was the Wolf by Wolf series by Ryan Grodin. So if you have not heard of Ryan Grodin, she is an amazing historical fiction and sci-fi writer. And she also wrote Invictus and that came out last year. So this series is set in 1942 during World War II, and it's what would have happened if Hitler had won the war, and it is absolutely terrifying. Um, and the main character's name is Yael, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong because it's a Jewish name, and I cannot do the service that I wish I could to it. But she starts out as a six-year-old girl, and she and her family are taken to a Jewish, con a Jewish camp um, where she watches her family slowly just die and loses everything. And she is taken and experimented on. So she is injected with chemicals that change the color of her skin and her eyes and her hair. So she goes from having dark hair and dark eyes and dark skin. And now she has translucent skin and blue eyes and blonde hair. And through that experimentation, she has inherited the ability to be a skin shifter. And so she can change her face to look like anybody else. And she uses that ability to escape her camp. And she joins the revolution against Hitler and wants to overthrow him. So in doing that, she joins this revolution and they tell her that your mission now is to join this cross continental motorcycle race and pretend that you're somebody else. And in order to do that, you have to change your face and you're going to study this person for a year and learn her habits and who she is and about her family and everything about her so that you can replace her. And at the end of the race, when you win, you will meet Hitler and you will kill him. So it's intense. And of course, like any good adventure story, there is trouble along the way. There's a boy, but there is not enough romance to call it a romance because it's so cool to see um, Yael, who is playing someone named Adele, to be conflicted because she knows that she can have nothing with this boy and it can't really go on anymore because he thinks she's someone else. And she also has to fight with herself and say, he is in the way of my mission. And it is so cool because she goes through the, that thought process of how am I going to get through this and how am I going to do these things while pretending to be someone else. And she also has that moment where she realizes just because you know everything about someone doesn't mean you can be them because the part that she struggles with is building those relationships. So, so, so good. Of course, the end of the story comes and I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but it is an insane ending. And then the second book comes and the second one is Blood for Blood. By also by Ryan Gradden, and it is so good. I don't like political stories, and I don't like when there's a lot of fighting. I don't really care for any of that. Um, I'm not a big military book, the military book person, as y'all can tell. I like YA. And in this one, it goes very much behind the scenes about how Hitler has risen to power and how they're planning to overthrow him and all those tiny little minute details that go into play in it. It is so much fun because now... Yael is no longer pretending to be Adele because obviously they know she's not Adele. Um, and so she escapes the end of the race and this picks up exactly where Wolf by Wolf ends up. So if you want to see those covers next to each other, they are some of the coolest covers I've ever seen. Sorry, this is on my phone. I read it as an ebook. Um, so it picks up right where it left off. She's fleeing the scene where the end of the race happens and she has gotten to meet Hitler and you will find out if she kills him or not. And so she's leaving and she's got to escape. And now the boy, Luca, has followed her. So now he is endangering himself. And now Yael is now responsible for his life on top of Adele's brother who was in the race with her. So now she's not only having to worry about how am I going to escape? How am I going to get through this? How do I make sure that I'm not going to get killed? Because people think that I may or may not have done something. And she has to go on now with these other two following her. And it's a pain and it's annoying, but she gets through it. And it is such a cool story of teamwork and working through problems and betrayal because she gets betrayed by someone important and they reveal her secrets and they tattle on her and she gets caught and things just go crazy and fall apart. And so now the government knows about skin shifters. People know about skin shifters and everything is just crumbling. The entire third reach is just crumbling. It is so cool to watch. 
again, I'm not a political book person. I'm not really that big into historical fiction, but watching how this world where there are people who are just terrified and don't know how to do anything because they don't want to betray their leader. They don't want to be killed for treason, but they're terrified. And now they're seeing that little glimmer of hope that maybe they're going to be able to get out of this and maybe things are going to get better for them. Very, very good series. If you like a good adventure, if you like sci-fi, if you like historical fiction, this was an awesome series to read. I read both books in about a week and a half. I could not put them down. Ryan Graden has a way of just grabbing your attention and not letting go. So it was awesome. I have been nonstop talking about it with my students and they are loving it as well. So I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. And I hope that you read it. If you loved it, drop a comment. And if not, tell me why not. I'd love to have a discussion about it. I am also reading, of course, I'm going back to my graphic novels because nomination season is over. So I have just started Archival Quality. It is a graphic novel by Ivy Noel Weir and Steens. I'm not too far into it, so I'm not going to give anything away. But it's really fun so far, and I really like the artwork and how simple it is that it doesn't distract from the story. So I'm excited to share that with you. I'm excited to share the Maverick list when it comes out soon. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. See you all later. Bye.